Hi again everyone, Scott Pyre, pop cult fan here, and in this video, I kind of want to give my thoughts on the next Pokemon games, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now that the trailer for that game has been out for a little while, I thought why not do kind of an update video um, talking about what we know so far about Scarlet and Violet for these new games. And I've heard that this game is going to be fully open world, even more so than Legends Arceus, which excites me to say the least. But it will be a more more traditional, in the sense that we're still going to be going through, um, you know, towns and cities. And I've heard that the this more fully op open world experience will be a little bit more, um, kind of like, um, let's see, I guess. It'll be a little bit more open, obviously. And also, I've heard that with everything that was shown in the trailer and the names of the starters, um, it's definitely very apparent that the new region of this of these new games is based on Spain. Um, if you look at a lot of the architecture and the buildings and also... Um, some of the clo like the clothes that the character w that the player character wears, and if you look at the names of the starters, they're very Spanish. So you have Sprigatito, the cat, the grass cat. Then you have Fue Coco, which is the fire starter, and then you have Quaxley, the water starter. I've obviously Sp Sprigatito, um, Fue Coco, very Spanish. <laughs> so, Spain confirmed for this new region that these games are based on. And also, I think that's another thing that's rather interesting is that these new games being called Scarlet and Violet, there have been like hints towards uh, a, a Spain based region um, in past games. Like, I think in Pokemon Sword and Shield, there's like this one hotel in a in a city where you can see some oranges and grapes like in the background and you know because orange and oranges and grapes are very prominent in spain which is interesting to say the least um kind of and then there's a lot of that in the trailer for the games uh there's a lot of images of oranges and grapes within the trailer for these games so i think that's rather interesting and also, um, another thing that I think is confirmed is that these games are, well, they're gen Generation 9, so there's going to be new Pokemon, obviously, not just the starters. So it'll be interesting to see some of the newer Pokemon. And also, I just think that this game, I do think that the graphics have gone quite a big, big of a step up compared to Legends Arceus. Like some of the Pokemon just look so clean and just very detailed. That's the word. Um, similar to New Pokemon Snap, I think that is probably the best looking Pokemon game on the Switch. And I like that, you know, the Pokemon look a lot more detailed. In, in this and just this trailer for these new games alone and uh, which i think is you know really cool and i think it looks really great and obviously um it's going to be a more of a traditional pokemon game so the pokemon battling will be more akin to pokemon sword and shield so i'm you know i'm really excited for these new games um there's like i said there's not a whole lot that we know about yet but I'm assuming that, you know, once we get more trailers, we'll get a better sense of the story. And one thing I really miss these past few generations is like an actual antagonistic team to, you know, defeat. Because, I mean, yeah, we could argue that, you know, Blade Down and probably just came out. So we, we did go up against T Tinkalactic again in that game. It's just these past few generations, Generation 7, Generation 8... We just haven't had an, an antagonistic evil team to go up against these past few years. And I can't, I miss that. I really do. I like, you know, I liked Team Flare. Um, I liked Team Skull. 
Um, I liked how, you know, I just, I miss that. I miss f going up against an antagonistic evil organization. I miss that. I really do. Team Yell was nothing in Sword and Shield. Uh, they were just a bunch of fans that would just cause you trouble every now and then. Uh, fans of Marnie. And I just, it, that just did not work for me with Sword and Shield. I, I miss fighting an actual antagonistic evil organization in my Pokemon games. I hope they bring that back in Scarlet and Violet. And, you know, speaking of that, the, because this game is fully open world, I'm assuming that we're going to be able to take on the Pokemon gyms um, in any order that we wish. That would be really cool. Um, that is if, I mean, I'm, because this is more a traditional Pokemon game, um, I am expecting that there's Pokemon gyms in, in these new games. So... But, I mean, if they do change up the formula, you know, that's fine, too. I'm, I'm fine with that if there's if they decide to do something else. But, you know, still having a similar kind of progression, um, similar to, uh, you know, Pokemon Sun and Moon, where you would, you know, do the trials, and that was, but there was still a similar progression, um, defeating the trials and the captains. But... You know, they could do that. They could change that up. Um, so it might not be Pokemon Gems. It might be. I'm not sure. But I'm also expecting that they'll have a new battle strategy or a, a new battle style similar to what we have been doing these past few years with these Pokemon games. Like Pokemon X and Y had Mega Evolution. Sun and Moon had, the mo uh, had Z moves. And then Sword and Shield had Dynamaxing. So similar to that, there might be like a new battle uh, style in these new games. So that's always rather interesting to see. Uh, so uh, yeah, um, those are really all my thoughts on the games so far. Um, not a whole lot to talk about, but it's rather interesting. And speaking about the three starters, I think the one I like the most is the fire starter, Fue Coco. Um, I'm kind of hoping it'll evolve into a fire dragon type. That would be really cool. And Sprigatito could be grass and steel type in its fully evolved form. I just hope it stays on all fours. <laughs> then Quaxley, I'm not sure what that one evolve into. I mean, it's a duck, so it'll evolve into a bird, obviously. Uh, water flying is just not the best typing, if you ask me. But maybe they'll change that up for Quaxley. I'm not sure. But all in all, I'm really excited for these new games. Um, and so, yeah, uh, that should do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.